What's going on guys, Ben here, Enos Tech, and today we're taking a look at the extra comfy Noble Chairs Epic Series gaming chair from our friends over at Overclockers. Now, it was amazing when Noble Chairs reached out to us and said, oh hey, uh, we kind of remembered you haven't reviewed this chair yet, but you previously reviewed our Icon Series gaming chair, which you liked, so um, would you like to check this one out? And we said, well, of course we would, you know what I'm saying? Always up for a good game of chair review here at Enos Tech, especially when it's from a company like Noble Chairs. Now, Noble Chairs are regarded to have some of the best gaming chairs in the business, and I can't really disagree with that fact. Um, there are a couple of companies that do definitely stand out from the rest, but as always, there are different tiers and different companies aimed towards different people, um, and Noble Chairs is aiming to offer the best chairs possible. Now this is going to be the version that offers the faux leather, but they do have a version that offers 100% real leather, which obviously is a bit more expensive. Um, this one currently comes in at about 300 pounds, give or take a few pennies from our friends over at the Overclockers UK. And for that, you get, um, get quite a bit of chair, to be honest. Um, so let's take a closer look at it. Obviously, as we've seen with a lot of gaming chairs, you've get the two pillows here, the lumbar and the neck support cushions, and you've got the kind of backing that um, it kind of folds around you, if you will, a little bit to kind of grab you in, give you a little bit of a hug. Same with the bottom of the seat where you put your butt at the sides, it kind of goes up a bit to help situate you and get you seated in the seat properly. As you'll see, we've got the black version with the blue stitching, as mentioned, and they've done a great job with this. Now, there are some holes in the leather to go ahead and let the chair breathe, which is great. It helps keep you from sweating as much and keep the chair from sweating, which is always great. And as you can see, the stitching is just superb. Like They've really taken a great attention to detail to get it, and everything... Um, Noble Chairs pays a lot of attention to detail to all of it, from the stitching, to the comfort, to the padding, to even their Noble Chairs icon um, emblem in the back of the chair, where you can see right behind where you sit. Um, it's just, they don't overlook anything. Now, to kind of go over some of the features that they have, um, as with a chair with this price, you would expect quite a bit for it. So we'll start off with the armrest. Now, they've got on each side, on the outside, is a little button that you can pull up so you can pull your armrest up or down. We've got the armrest can actually go forwards and backwards like this, as you see. There's a little button here at the top, and when it does click into place, I don't know if you can quite hear that. And then there is another one here, just, um, not quite in the middle, but just back a little bit. Another button you can push in. You can actually move this out side to side. So you can push it out as far as you can, if you like. You can pull these up and down forward. You can find them. Um, get a suitable place for your needs. Now, obviously, Noble Chairs knows not everybody's the same size. So they've done a great job at combating this with the armrest. Everybody can use them. Um, you should be able to find a position that's good for you. The chair does feature a tilt, so... Um, you can rock in it. There is just under the chair, um, in the Noble Chair series, you've, um, Epic series here, you've got to actually get out the chair, well I do personally, to turn the little knob and you can actually tighten or loosen um, how easy it is to kind of tilt back like this. Not only can you tilt, but your chair can also recline back and you can tilt back as well. And I mean, you know what, this is quite comfy, to be honest. Um, I couldn't spend a night sleeping here, that's for sure, but if I was at a LAN party or somewhere where I just needed to kick back and relax, maybe watch a film, you know, one of them new uh, Noble Chairs footrests would go well here, I could even take a little nap in the chair, which would be quite nice. Now, as always, like I said, Noble Chair, highly regarded for their quality. Um, to recline the chair on the side here is the lever here, as you can see, you just pull that and boom. You just recline it, and obviously, as you can see, I've got mine set up to tilt back quite easily um, because I kind of like to rock back like this. Sometimes, um, when taking a break from the game, I like to just whew, tilt back just a little bit, you know, get a little bit away from the screen, give my eyes and my brain a second to recalibrate, get everything back up to speed. 
Now, overall, I am very happy with this chair. It's constructed great. Um, Noble Chair is one of the easiest chairs to build. If you've built a few gaming chairs, you'll know that not all the bolts kind of fit in where they're designed to. Um, some of them you gotta play around with and wiggle and force them in, but not with the Noble Chairs. I've never had a problem installing one of their chairs. Um, things just simply fit where they're supposed to, which is always great. And is there something you would expect spending 300 pounds on a chair for your computer or your gaming console or whatever you may want the chair for. Overall, as I've said, I'm quite happy with it. Um, it's gonna win our must have award because even though it is pricey, it is one of the better chairs out on the market. If you're looking for a chair that's gonna last you and it's not, you know, you know you're sick of those cheap eBay job lots or Amazon ones, you spend 80 to 120 quid on them and they break within a year or maybe you get almost two years out of it and then you go to get out of it and both the armrests break. Um, look into the Noble Chairs. Now, if this one is not for you, don't worry because they obviously have got the Icon series as well, which is an equally amazing chair. I'll make sure to link that down below in the description. But if you want a bit closer look at the chair, make sure to check out the written part of the review on enistech.com because um, I get a bit better pictures and a bit better close-up of the chair and show you some of the features such as um, the suede and stuff that goes down the side. So again, it's going to win our must-have award. Make sure to check out the written part of the review to see the rest of my feelings on it. And as always, thank you guys for watching and please stay tuned in the future for more content.